Hi, welcome to another video. This is Mr. Chong from EnglishTution.org. Hope you are having a great day. Now, today we are going to do a video on sentence synthesis. I uh, haven't been doing uh, content for the PSI syllabus for quite some time now. So, uh, for those of you who are in primary school, primary 5, primary 6, or even primary 3 or 4, maybe you can learn something from today's video. Now, sentence synthesis, um, uh, some students they do struggle badly okay with this section uh, and they tend to fail right um primary three primary four they may not realize it but when it comes to primary five uh this component itself is worth a total of 10 marks and some students do uh, fail uh, very badly yeah? like i said uh, they can score uh, i've even seen students scoring a zero okay out of 10. so what happens so we're going to go through some of the common mistakes that students make that cost them marks so do pay attention um, so sometimes st uh, students do fail, right? Uh, despite putting in their best efforts and that's rather discouraging. So what could have gone wrong? So how, how did they lose marks? Now the marking of the sentence synthesis is typically rather strict. That means uh, zero marks for even the smallest mistakes. Now each question is worth two marks. Um, so some students are hopeful that they might get one mark just uh, because they've forgotten the comma or forgotten some, uh, you know, just a, uh, an S, right? Or forgotten alphabet uh, in, uh, in their answer. And they think they can get away with it and they, they, you know, their answer is still worth one mark. Uh, that's not true. Most schools uh, that have come across, uh, the, uh, the marking is actually very strict. Uh, students are awarded zero marks for uh, the slightest mistakes. So, uh, I agree with what the schools are doing because this is to send a very strong message to students that it is not okay to be careless. In other words, accuracy is very important, right? Small things like prepositions, uh, don't forget them, right? Your spelling, your punctuation, everything is important, okay? So in other words, students must learn how to form proper sentences, okay? Using sentence synthesis, using the proper connectors without making grammatical errors, punctuation errors and spelling mistakes all right so uh, let's go into uh, the common mistakes um so mistake number one uh this is very common mistakes among students uh, they forget to change the subject for agreement when needed so even for experienced students who are into p5 and p6 they still make uh, such uh, elementary mistakes right for example when you combine two nouns together both Alan and tom like right both Alan and Tom becomes uh, plural right but when they are in separate sentences Alan likes Tom likes that's correct so if you blindly copy the verb likes into your answer without changing the subject of agreement then you're going to this is going to cost you two marks right so that's the very first mistake so do look out for that now mistake number two uh, this is rather unintentional, right? As students are careless, they leave out words unnecessarily, okay? So, for example, they forget to include articles and prepositions and students should not forget, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, should not leave out important words like that, right? Because you might end up changing the meaning or it might end up being a grammar mistake, okay? So, uh, don't leave out words uh, unnecessarily. Sometimes, you know, if this is a careless mistake, I always advise students to just go through your work again. It's just five questions, five sentences, go through your work again and check for missing words, right? This can help you uh, save some marks, right? Maybe you, you catch a preposition, right, that you have forgotten and you'll save you two marks, all right? Well, missing number three is similar, right? Missing punctuation, letters, okay, or words, uh, and even some expressions, right? So, for example, some expressions, some words, uh, you're supposed to copy the entire uh, expression, right, into your answer. And yet, certain words are missing, right? Certain words just come out wrong, right? The spelling is incorrect. So, do look carefully and check your answers and students cannot afford to be careless, alright? Uh, mistake number four, changing the words entirely, right? Uh, there's usually no reason to change the words entirely. Now, usually, when students are required to change the words, they are just required to change the word form, right? In other words, the base word remains the same, okay? Uh, for example, maybe careless becomes carelessness, right? So do not change the word careless to something that is completely different, okay? 
Uh, I've seen students who change the activity even, right? Swimming becomes writing, right? Somehow they got distracted and they just change some of the nouns, right? Uh, and so uh, that ends end up costing them marks. Mistake number five. Uh, for rebuttal speech, failure to change certain words. Now, rebuttal speech, uh, according to my experience, students, some students, they do struggle to try and remember the words that they need to change, right? Uh, they may remember the verb, but uh, they forgot some of the pronouns, right? Um, or they remember that, you know, the words, the verbs need to be changed, but they forgot change to what, right? Change to uh, maybe present, change to past, past, change to participle, right? Uh, uh, so they, they, so the, the word, okay, when you change from the past to the participle, some of them may have forgotten the spelling, right? How to spell uh, the, the verb in participle form, okay? So... Now in primary six PSLE, if students encounter such questions, sometimes reporter speech the question the sentence the sentence itself is very lengthy, right? it's very long, and there may be several verbs, for example, that need to be changed. So uh, students need to be very meticulous to identify every single word that needs to be changed. If they miss out one, then sorry, it's going to cost them uh, two marks again. All right. Uh, mistake number six, some connectors for sentence synthesis, they come in pairs, right? For example, rather than, prefer to, okay? And students forget the second part of the connector and only the first part is given in the question itself, right? So you're expected to come up with the second part. But if you've forgotten the second part, then you're going to get your answers wrong, right? Um, rather than, right? Um, so, uh what students should do is to revise, okay, and to make sure that they remember the connectors in pairs. Now, uh, to remember that it's not just important for sentence synthesis, okay, you can also use these connectors for your, uh, these uh, compositions as well, right, okay, to show that you have learned some of uh, the connectors from sentence synthesis and you're able to use them correctly, okay. Uh, I think just have a couple of mistakes left for this video. Uh, forget to add verbs or pronouns when necessary, right? So, uh, now, for example, the connector not only but also, right? Okay, not only is usually followed by a verb and students are expected to add this verb on their own, right? If you forgot, then automatically uh, it's wrong, right? And you can see but also you can insert a pronoun in between uh, but also and usually students forget uh, to add the pronoun and as a result, they get uh, you know, the answer wrong as well. Okay, as for the last and final mistake, right? They forget to add commas, right? So, for example, Tom, comma, who is tall, is my friend. So, there should be another comma, okay, after the phrase who is tall, right? After the word tall, there should be another comma. You forget to add a comma, and then that will cost you two marks. Because if you don't add a comma, then uh, first of all, punctuation is wrong. Second of all, uh, the subject verb agreement then becomes questionable, right? Uh, is it a singular subject or a plural subject, right? Sometimes there is another noun between the two commas. So always remember to put in uh, the correct uh, punctuation, all right? To avoid, uh, you know, losing marks unnecessarily, okay? Um, so as you can see, there are so many mistakes that students can make uh, when it comes to the sentence synthesis component. Uh, but uh, I have some encouraging news for you, okay, uh, throughout my years of teaching, I find that by the time students usually get to, you know, the second half of P6, uh, they're able to stabilize and master most of the connectors, all right, and when it comes to sentence synthesis, uh, they can put up a confident performance. So for those of you who are not, you know, we're still in the early part of the year, for those of you who are not doing so well for this component, don't worry, continue to practice and eventually you will get there. All right, so um, conclusion, right? Any one of the above mentioned mistakes will cost you marks. I've already said that each question is worth two marks. That means every mistake is costly, all right? Um, right, so we've come to the end of this video. So if you're serious about improving your grades and want wish to sign up for lessons, please visit englishtuition.org for more details, right? And for those of you who are taking uh, the uh, O-Levels, that's the online course available as, as well, right? So if you find this uh, video useful or helpful, please remember to leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.